Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x minus 4 to the power 4. This is equal to x to the power 4. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution. Now we have x subtract 4 to the power of 4. This is equal to x to the power of 4. Now the first step is to take x to the power of 4 on the left hand side so that we have x minus 4 to the power of 4 subtract x to the power of 4 this is equal to 0 we can express x minus 4 to the power of 4 this is x subtract 4 raised to the power of 2 then raised to the power of 2 subtract x to the power of 4 which is x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2 this is equal to 0. This equation here is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which is the difference of two perfect squares that we can express as a plus b times a minus b. From this equation here, we have that a is equal to x minus 4 raised to the power of 2, and b is equal to x to the power of 2. So that now we have that a plus b equal to 0. This is the same thing as x minus 4 raised to the power of 2 plus x to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. And we have that a subtract b equal to 0. This is the same thing as x minus 4 raised to the power of 2 subtract x to the power of 2 this is equal to 0 let's call this equation 2 and this implies that we can we have two cases here this is case 1 and this is case 2 let's start with case 1 in case 1 we have x subtract 4 raised to the power of 2 plus x to the power of 2 this is equal to 0 we have that x minus 4 to the power of 2. This is in the form of a subtract b raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2 minus 2 times a b. Let's apply this algebraic identity so that we have x to the power of 2 plus 4 squared, which is 16, minus 2 times 4 times x then plus x to the power of 2 this is equal to 0 so this is x to the power of 2 plus 16 minus 8x plus x to the power of 2 this is equal to 0 now we have x squared plus x squared this is 2x to the power of 2 minus 8x plus 16 this is equal to 0 now let's divide both signs by 2 so that now this is the same thing as x to the power of 2 subtract 4x plus 16 divided by 2 which is 8 this is equal to 0 Now, this is a quadratic equation where we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4, and c is equal to 8. So we can solve for x1, comma x2 by applying the quadratic formula here, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, everything here divided by 2 times a. Now applying this formula, let's substitute a, b, and c so that we have minus minus 4 plus or minus, we have the square root of minus 4 squared subtract 4 times a which is 1, then times c which is 8, everything here, divided by 2 times 1. 
So this is minus times minus 4. This is 4 plus or minus. We have the square root of minus 4 squared. This is 16. Subtract 4 times 8, which is 32. Everything here divided by 2. Now, this means we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 32. This is minus 16 divided by 2. We can express the square root of six, minus 16 as this is 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 multiplied by minus 1 divided by 2. So this implies that here we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 16, this is 4. Square root of minus 1, this is i, then everything divided by 2. So in the numerator here, 2 is common. We can factor out 2 into the parentheses. This is 2 plus or minus 2i, everything here divided by 2. So let's simplify 2 and 2 here so that we have x1 comma x2. This is equal to 2 plus or minus 2i. So this implies that here we have two complex solutions. We have two complex solutions. We have two complex solutions here. That is x1 is equal to 2 plus 2i. x2 is equal to 2 subtract 2i. Now we are saying these are two complex solutions. Now let's proceed to case 2. Case 2. In case 2, we have x subtract 4 raised to the power of 2, then subtract x to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. x minus 4 to the power of 2, this is in the form of a minus b to the power of 2, which we can express as a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2, subtract 2 times a, b. Applying this identity, then we have x to the power of 2 plus 16, then minus 8x, subtract x to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. Now, we have x squared minus x squared, this simplifies, so that we have 16, subtract 8x, this is equal to 0. Now, let's take minus 8x on the right hand side. This is 16 equal to 8x. So let's divide both signs by 8. And this implies that we have that x3. This is equal to 16 divided by 8. And this is equal to 2. And this is actually the only real solution here. This is the only real solution for this algebra problem. So let's check. Let's check if this real solution here satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, now if you recall, we have that x subtract 4 raised to the power of 4. This should be equal to x to the power of 4. Let's substitute x which is 2, so we have 2 minus 4 raised to the power of 4, this should be equal to, this is 2 to the power of 4. 2 minus 4, this is minus 2 raised to the power of 4, this should be equal to 2 to the power of 4, and this is 16. So we have that minus 2 to the power of 4. This again is equal to 16, and this is equal to 16. So we have that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that x3 here satisfies the equation here. So we have three solutions. We have one real solution and two complex solutions. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and kindly subscribe.
see you in the next video bye bye for now